Welcome back to Pseudo Sergeant. Last time we got a pie top, we ripped it apart, looked at everything that was inside, put it back together. In this segment, we're going to take a look at the Pie Top OS. Now let's get to the GUI. So we got the Pie Top OS, we booted right into this. This is the first time boot up. Um, so now I'm going to go through the initial setup here. Uh, okay, we're setting up the time zone. Pie Top OS end user license agreement. The wireless networking. All done. So now that the setup is complete, it's going to take us on a tour of the desktop here. So we've gone through the orientation of our PyTop dashboard here. Now, we can get out of the dashboard. I know this and go to like a regular desktop, but let's just take a look at the dashboard here. Programs here, looking at all this different stuff that's installed. You have, uh, oh, look at that, Minecraft, Python, Scratch, Sonic Pi. Sonic Pi is like a synthesizer. That's pretty cool. So then there's this PyTop coder, which is a learning tutorial on how to interface with the GPO using Python. Basically what it does is it takes somebody through step by step to uh, telling them what to connect on the GPIO and then also it provides the code. Um, let's go to, let's see if we can get out to the desktop here. Well here we are on the PyTop desktop. Let's open up the terminal. There we go. And let's do uname. Uname space dash A. Linux PyTop 4.9.35 dash V. So the PyTop OS Polaris is based off of uh, Raspbian. Let's see, this is just a regular desktop like you'd have on any Raspbian. It's just modified a little bit to accommodate the additional hardware and also the PyTop dashboard. But you can access everything that you can on the dashboard here through the menus. So we have our programming options here, some Java programs, Scratch, Sonic Pi, Office programs, a web browser. We have some games here. The Seed Universe is this program developed by PyTop and um, kids can play and go explore the universe and learn things about chemistry and materials and stuff like that. And here's some accessory stuff, PDF viewer. We have Turtle Art. We can check out our system resources with HTOP. What's this question mark thing? DB and reference. Raspberry Pi help, preferences. You can adjust some of your settings there, the menu and stuff like that. Now let's go back to the dashboard. And I actually want to look at this PyTop coder. Learn, play, create. This is something that I think is really interesting here. Here's what they're calling worksheets. These are different step-by-step -step tutorials that'll tell us to say, hey, take this button, put it on the breadboard, and uh, connect this wire here on the button and plug it into wherever. And then it'll tell us to take a line of code and then run that code to see what happens. So let's go through one of these examples here. All right, let's just try this one out here. Okay, don't push me. Loading the worksheet. Okay, so our tutorial is loaded. Over here, it'll tell us what to do. And right here is our where we put in our code. Basically, this project, we're gonna make a simple button, place a sound when the button is pressed. Okay, things we're gonna need, a button, and two mail-to-mail -mail connectors. Okay, here's a button, and here are a couple of wires. Super simple, okay. And then we're gonna plug into pins 20, and then take that to the button, and the other end of the button, we're gonna to take to ground. Next, from GPR, okay, so we're gonna to wanna to import some code here. It says, we can just push this button, and it'll bring it right into our shell here. So from GPO0, import button, okay, and then set the pin 20 to act as a button. We just click that right there and it brings, it brings the code in. Okay, what's next? While true, button press, hey, it works, great, break. There. And you know what, I think this will run right now. Let's try this. So we'll run this and I push the button, it should say it works over here. Okay, it works, cool. Um, let, what's the next step here? Now we can, okay, import Pisonic. Let's put that at the top here, so. There we go, we bring that in. And then also we want to load this sound sample. Okay, so now the sound sample is loaded. And if you notice here, it has all this text telling us what's going on and what it does. This is really helpful for people who want to learn how to do this. Okay, so then Pisonic play sample, bell. Okay, so come over here. We're gonna make it so that when we press the button, it'll say it works and then it'll also make this sound. Okay, so. Now, indentation is an issue with um, Python, so we want to make sure we have, that we have the indentation right. Now, when we run this, if, as long as it, the indentation is right, it should work. Okay, so we can run this. I press this button. It should say it works here, and then let's see if it makes a sound. Okay, so let's go to the next step in our program here. Final code should look something like this. Yep, that's pretty much what we have here. And congratulations, we made it through this uh, first tutorial here. So that was a brief introduction to the PyTop OS Polaris. I think it's a great learning platform for people who are interested in figuring out how to code with Python, um, just play around with Scratch or goof around and have fun and 
interact with uh, electronics and it also comes with these really great kits. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the Element 14 community at element14.com forward slash pseudosergeant and I'll see you on the command line. Mm -hmm.